Welcome back to another Boombush video guys. There is just over two days left and incredibly we have reached rank, um, almost rank 20 if we win this next match. But more importantly, we are still on a massive win streak now, 22x win streak. And you can see a log, I've just been doing a few attacks there just the past few minutes and it's still going amazing. The key is really, I would say, over here with the two sky shields, the shock launcher and also the critter launcher slowing down the opponent by 10 you know 15 minutes and also this circular um arrangement of the base layout really does help because they have to go um attack both sides over here so without much um talking let's get straight into it let's see if we can keep up our win streak if we win this we do reach rank 20 which will be nice uh, in the past few days alone uh, we've climbed up like two or three ranks uh, down from rank. I believe we were at gold 16 for for the better part of like two or three weeks there. Okay, the strategy. So the strategy, what I typically do is using Brick and her battle orders. Uh, I typically try to uh, shock the critter launchers. That's the only thing I use my GB on, and the rest of the GB e is used on battle orders. Every single time battle orders, battle orders just to speed up the troops and their damage. So right here, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put down battle orders, defeat them. It doesn't really matter if some of the heavy choppers die because they will uh, drop like eight heavies there. But we should uh, get past this base pretty relatively quick enough. We do have to um, walk along this path. That this opponent has set but hopefully we can try and let's see i'm not sure what we should do here we i think we should we'll try and do a split attack over here we'll try and split the attack because if we keep if we stay on that left hand side we will just um we, we won't get a very good time that we what that we would like Okay, again, let's activate battle orders. The opponent's already had one. Now, unless he's using Seekers, I haven't had much people use Seekers against me yet, but this might be the first time, actually. We do have a killer launcher down here that's slowing us down there. Our troops up here are dead. Oh, no, this might be the first attack that we're losing. Our 22x win streak is gone, and also rank 20. So right now here we just have, to, yeah, I don't know what he used, maybe he used uh, Seekers, I thought Seekers. Now we can't flare up to our last Endrum though, um, so we do have to unfortunately destroy the, destroy the Sky Shield. Now this is going to be a very slow time, I don't know what happened, um, let's see. Yep, we can kiss our win streak goodbye there. And we'll just start to on GB there as the Skull Shield goes it down. Hopefully we won't lose that many stars. I believe it's only 10 stars that we lose. Or is it 11? Two minutes, nine. Let's see what he did. Okay, this attack is not uh, is not very different from any of the other attacks. It was simply my attack that let, that let us down here. Um, yeah, yeah, not too much difference over here. You can see. Let's see. As he gets up here, you can see over here how how all the shock mines slow him down. The shock launcher and even the clear launcher slows him down a bit there as well. Okay, we're almost around 20, so let's try and win this. We have to get back into a win streak now. Okay, this base we should do relatively well here. Uh, I typically just split them up here. Drop the heavy choppers down first, of course, because they're a little bit slower. And then brick. 
Let's activate battle orders right off the start, try and get them moving. And we should get a relatively good split here. So we, we have two rocket chopper, um, heavy choppers, sorry, not rocket choppers, on the left hand side. One in the center there. And then we should have, yeah, we've got, we've got rocket chopper, heavy choppers, sorry, not rocket choppers. Nicely split. Shocking the cooler launcher. Activate battle orders. We shouldn't have too much issue. Let me sh let me destroy all this stuff. Um, one barrage is gonna destroy all that, so that's not really nice. That's not a very good placement there. Putting all your mines together. Unfortunately, brick is on the right hand side. We would have preferred her on the left hand side, but let's see what we can do. We might have to destroy this cluster of mines over here. And um, bombardiers will will walk over that. So let's try and help them out a bit. And we need to get ready with our shocks now because we're getting into um, a couple of critter launchers, a ton of um, shock launchers as well, even a doom cannon is underneath the sky shields. So it's going to take us quite a while as well here to destroy his um, buildings over here. Luckily. Yes, we we got that shock underneath the crew launcher. Let's start flaring. Doesn't matter about anything else right now. We need to start flaring. Now the opponent is he gonna get stay stuck? He's still at one end. He's still at one engine. Two minutes two seconds is the time to beat. Two minutes one second. Okay, yeah, this is what I was talking about now. So our attack was good and our defense was um, good as well. Let me just see wh how many stars we get. Okay, 10 stars. One more attack. Can we get into rank 20 over here? Okay, if we win this, we will get a little bit, a little bit of a higher stars up here. So what we're gonna do is here is try and bypass all his buildings at the front. We're gonna head over here to the left hand side, and we're gonna try and do a split from there. This base looks a lot like the base that we just lost to, <laughs> so let's try and do it a bit better. We're gonna get ready to shock the cutter launchers as they start to come into play. And we should get a nice enough split, I believe. Let's just activate uh, Brick's battle orders. We are getting some troops going to le uh, swerving off to the left over here. Activate battle orders once again. We need to destroy this critter launcher down here. The the top set of troops don't need any help. But let's activate battle orders there. We just need to be careful of these boom cannons and doom cannons down here. These troops need our full attention. Shock that. This, sh this should be a relatively fast time as well. Because we're attacking all end rooms almost at once. And we'll just do a shock here, and we should be able to flare right about now. Start flaring. No need to do battle orders because those troops are very far away. A few barrage. What time do we get? So you can see there we 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 had we bypassed almost ten buildings there. Two minutes seventeen. Don't think he's gonna beat that anytime soon. Nice, so he he must have been um, heavy chopper flaring. And I don't think he's gonna even get this last end, uh, second last end room. Shock blaster doing nice work, and just retreats, yep. I was expecting 11 stars there since he was at rank 20 when we, st when we matched up. But rank 20, here we are. Now we should be able to save up and get, where is it? The Doom Cannon, I believe. The Doom Cannon is probably the best thing, yeah. 
So I've taken this pack, uh, gotten some boom mines. Dr. Kavan, I'm not really using him to be honest, so I won't, it won't bother upgrading him. Getting the Doom Cannon, next step will probably be to get some, let's see, I think critters are going to be very useful, um, destroying the mines, boom mines, shock mines, just clearing clearing mines ov overall, and then going back and getting this, uh, perhaps getting the flamethrower or the machine gun, one, one, one of those. Let's see, we have the Doom Cannon, so where should we put the Doom Cannon? We could centralize it as well, but if we put it next to this one, it's going to be shocked very easy uh we can put it down here i guess mm, not many spots to put it to be honest can you put it down here we can put it here I mean, but it's very shockable and um, you can just shock this nice cluster of three or four boom cannons um let me see let me just see his attack see if there's anywhere we can um Move that Doom Cannon. So, oh, he was using Scorchers as well. Okay, I haven't seen anyone use Scorchers in my base yet. Let's just do a 2x. Yeah, the Doom Cannon will cover up nice there. Um, That end room. So let's see, does it cover that end room? Not exactly. I mean, if we want to move it over here. Will be nice there. Now it covers those two. Okay, there. That's the best placement I can think of right now. We're at rank twenty. Let's see. Let's see if we can. We have, we do have two days left, so we'll try and aim for rank twenty-two. If we can keep this win streak up, well, not yet, but we don't have a win streak yet. We just lost it. But let's see. So this base. Now there's. Hmm. How do we get that end room? What you might do is, not sure, we might have to save, we'll drop, we'll replace one building with a bombardier and we'll save this one boat of bombardier to go all the way at the far left hand side once our main group of, tro uh, group of troops uh, reach around here. So we'll just drop all three over here and we'll drop our four bombardiers. And saving that last boat of bombardier, we will have to shock the shock blaster there, so we need to save up some GV for that. Okay, things are going well. It's only the critter launchers that we're using our GB guys, so just um, other than that, we're just using our GB on um. Sergeant Briggs battle orders. So we can't drop our last boat yet. We have to keep. We have to keep. Um, we have to just wait a few more seconds. We've got one hundred nine GB there, or not ninety five now. And we should be able to drop this last boat right now. They should do pretty well. Now he's taking us down pretty fast. I haven't seen anyone take us down this fast yet, but um, I'm afraid that this tr this set of bombardiers is gonna fall prey to these mines. I wanna let's destroy them. Hopefully, oh no, we don't have mines. Oh, okay, this attack is dead. We have to flare. We don't have battle orders yet. They're gonna hit over a shock mine. And it's gonna take about 10 seconds for them to get over here. Oh. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, this is where the critters would, co would have come in handy for sure. So that's why we're saving up for critters now. 1 minute 46, are we going to drop out of uh, rank 20 here? We just about, we just reached it. Let me see, 10 stars, we lo we're losing 10 stars, so, yep, okay. 
I think we can still do a few more attacks here. We're at 50 minutes in the video, guys. Let me know if you do like longer videos or shorter videos. Um, okay, we should be able to do pretty well in the space. Um, I think we'll stick to these three heavy choppers, actually. I think that's a good... Um, we're bringing more damage to the to the playing field. Um, but with three heavy choppers, we just have to be more more careful about doom cannons and boom cannons because we don't want the heavy choppers to die out early on. Let's see. Brick is at the center here with no nothing to cover her, so I am a bit um, worried here. As soon as she gets into range of perhaps a boom cannon or something. And I'm going to do an early shock there. At that critter launcher and um, boom, cannon, uh, boom cannon combo. Brick. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew that. I knew she was going to die without much uh, cover here. But I didn't have crit I didn't have critters or anything. I couldn't do much. But that's uh, should be no problem here. We're, we're finishing this base at a relatively quick speed. We should get. You, we should be able to move move to that sky shield uh, relatively quick here. Uh, well, let's just, let's use our GB and destroy some of these shock mines over here. And um, that's the only thing. Our our barrage is only level one, so it's not even. Uh, we just have, we need to shock though. We really need to shock that uh, Kudar Launcher there. Come on guys, we need to flare. Can we start flaring? I'm going to try down a few flares. 2 minutes 20, 19, 15, 18 seconds, okay. That should be a win. Getting us back into uh, rank 18. So here you're going to see how slow, how slow they get up to. When they reach the the double sky shields, he was using Kavan there as well, and a lot of his troops were second wind troops. So you know this match was close there. He was two minutes fifteen. Back up to rank twenty. Alright, guys, we'll do one more attack and then we'll log off there. Okay, now this is a base just like mine. I'm gonna. What I'm going to do here is bring back the heavy chopper and let's see. Now they're all going to swerve, swerve over to the right hand side, but I do want something to go to the left hand side. We'll just reflare uh, when we need to. Uh, let's destroy all this all together. That do uh doom cannon doom work. Maybe we should replace our shock blaster with a doom cannon in the center instead. Because without critters, we really have to uh, shock that doom cannon. <laughs> this one, uh, this one bombardier down here with almost no health. Is is taking out the Doom Cannon. Nice. There's a cooler launcher right there. Brick is in the center. She's gonna get hit with a do uh, mine over here. If she dies early on, it's not it's not very good at all. Ah, oh, Brick, you're gonna die there. Can we get Brick's battle orders out? We don't have uh, we don't have med kits yet either. But let's see what what are we gonna do now? I think at this point we're gonna flare all the way up there, and then some of the troops should come that come back down to the right hand side. That should yeah that should happen I think. Pretty sure it should happen nicely. Okay, we've got two bombardiers here. We do have to shock once they get into the boom cannon range. Oh no. Oh no. And again. Yeah, you see, with this double combo, we can't really shock 
and his critter launcher is free just to deploy as many critters as he wants until we take out the sky shields over here. So in the 6 EOR it's really this little corner that you have to worry about. How are you going to destroy that corner as quick as possible? Okay guys, um, I think that's it. We're, we've fallen right out of rank 18. We're going up and down in rank 18. One attack we win, one attack we fall out of rank 18. So, um, so I'll keep pushing and I'll let you know within the next, you know, one, one day, I suppose before the before the season is over but let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments below and let me know if you're at um seven engine rooms or anything you know um or what troop combination you're using okay that's it guys i'll see you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe